Hello, stars. To Jew Twenty Two here, and welcome back to the Me Fighter Rumble. And uh, this rumble is brought to you by MuchGames.ca, uh, Slack Slouch Gaming, SSG, uh, Dem Boys, uh, McRumps. Uh, what else? Uh, and the gaming beatdown, among other uh, affiliations. Uh, but we bring you the Me Fighter Rumble, and uh, last time we more or less have the same people as we did before, including uh, Sephiroth, the guy that's been here the longest, and not far from him is Jacoy. And Jacoy, I have to give these two guys a lot of credit. I mean, they have just managed to either win or survive. But, I mean, that's the key. I mean, you got to survive until the very end, and that's how it's going to be. And we also have Top Kirby, who was tops as the winner, along with the Squid Boy, who actually did better than uh, his uh, lady counterpart, as well as my cat, Oscar. I'm surprised he is still scratching and clawing his way to possibly becoming the Mii Fighter champion. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's have let's introduce some some new people, and we have three new people. Let's start with, uh, as Tan Man C would call him, the man with the epic voice. I give you Fefnir Masamune, and uh, Fefnir he he's uh, uh he, he's still going strong today. But I have to say, he is criminally underrated. I th I would think that at, at this point in his career, he would have at least, what, 500 subscribers? I'm still trying to get to 500 myself, at least as of the time that I'm recording this. Who knows, maybe I've already passed that uh, by the time this comes out. But anyway. But yeah, he's so criminally underrated. It's just unbelievable. Because he's just that damn good with his voice and, and of course, the way he plays the games, obviously. But, but it's his voice. That is gold. If you don't believe me, just watch one of his older videos. You can see how great his voice is, or was as as it is then, or rather, it his voice is great now as it was then. All right, that's what I meant to say. Sorry. And then next to him is Cyrus, uh, Cyrus 2010, Super Cyrus 2010, uh. Uh, I met him through uh, John, Big Butter Nugget John, who was eliminated in the previous round, but taking his place is Cyrus, and Cyrus looks badass. But as badass as that is, that's nothing compared to Val, who's dressed up in just, who, who looks badass herself. Val, Valerie, but uh, of course on, on, on Twitch, she is uh, BlueBab23, uh, she is a very, very good hostess on, um, her own Twitch channel. I met her through Andy. So, yeah, this is another one of Andy's, uh, friends from his entourage of friends. It's not even funny, but, but other than that, though, I mean, Val herself is just a wonderful hostess. And, I mean, she can be animated, yes, but, but that's just part of the charm that she has. And, uh, of course, you know, she, she, and... I mean, she, she's just a sweet, wonderful host. I have nothing but the utmost respect for her, not just as uh, a viewer, but also as a friend. Uh, and She's a wonderful friend. I mean, sure, we don't get to talk very much just, just because of our busy lives, but uh, but when we do, it's it's fun. I, I enjoy it very much. And if you're watching this, uh, good luck to you, and good luck to everybody that's in this in this tournament. And for those who have already come and gone, uh, better luck next time. That's all I can say. But with that said, let's get ready to rumble. All right. We have about an even distribu distribution of uh, fighter types, but that's all we can do. Three, two, one, go. go. All right. So I'll be interested to see what Sephiroth is going to do to continue his Iron Man streak. Same thing for Jokoi. I mean, Jokoi has been in there the second longest. 
but if he can just get past uh, Sephiroth, I would have a feeling, I have a good feeling that he just might be the guy to continue. And now Oscar has a star. Uh, the star just makes you invincible for a short, limited amount of time. I would have to think that would help him. And Oscar just knocked out Val for a point. I mean, of course it's still early, though. And Sephiroth just knocked out Fefnir for a point. And the Squid Boy just got footstooled by Val. So, good one on Val's... That's a great play on Val's part. And I think Sephiroth just knocked out a bunch of people. So yeah, Sephiroth is definitely proving to be the man to beat. And Sephiroth has that back shield, which pr protects his back. Uh-oh, we have that shooter guy. And Cyrus summoned uh, a Pokemon. And it got to Sephiroth. But it didn't quite kill him, though. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, you have... I, I forgot the name of... Some of the Pokemon I'm not that familiar with. Like, I'm more familiar with the Generation 1 Pokemon, as well as a select few Pokemon since Generation 1, but, um, yeah, I'm not that big of a Pokemon fan. It's not that I don't like the series, it's just, uh, I'm not that familiar. I'm not that big of a fanboy. And Fefnir has the, uh, Smash Ball. I see knocked out, well, he knocked out Jacoy at the least, for a point. We have some spikes. I believe that was set by uh, Oscar the Cat. Now, now Val has that blower. And she knocked out uh, the Squid Boy. And Sephiroth just continuing, continuing to get the points. And Val also getting some points. Much needed, by the way. As is, uh, the Squid Boy. I mean, it's gonna be close, though. It's gonna be very close. And Oscar just knocked out Cyrus for a point. See what's in that balloon. Ooh, mushrooms. Oh, and Jacoy just got knocked out. And Cyrus got a point off of Val. Five, four, three, two, one. Alright, who won? The winner is the Squid Boy. So the Squid Boy has won and has advanced so I don't know what else to say man the the squid boy just managed to win but let's take a look at and see who else is advancing I'm just gonna look at the points but as you could see uh, Oscar as well as Sephiroth have tied for second and barely making it is Val so Val is gonna continue her run but I cannot say the same about the other four guys, and that is uh, Fefnir Masamune, who just got in, as well as Cyrus. Unfortunately, their runs were one and done. And then you have Top Kirby, who won the last round, but unfortunately his run was really short-lived. But, but the big surprise is that Jokoi, who was in there the second longest at, up to this point, it's finally been eliminated, and he got ganged up on, sadly, for him. But, you know, sometimes that's going to happen. 
and unfortunately for Chikoy, his run is over. But I have to give Chikoy a lot of credit because, much like the real guy, I have nothing but respect for him. I mean, I respect all these guys. Um, I mean, except for the Squid Boy, and uh, if only because he's not a real person, but it's just a character. And then, of course, Oscar is my cat, obviously. But but most but for Chikoy though, I you know I respect him and. And, of course, Chikoy will always go down as the very first Me Fighter champion that I've ever had. And that's something you can never take away from him. But also, you cannot take away the fact that he's just a wonderful guy. And if you ever get a chance to meet him, he's just a very good friend. And that's all I can say about that. Alright, so I'm just going to cross him out. But other than that, though... Uh, we still have a long way to go, but with that said, until then, peace out, everybody.